Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is The Raptor, and today I have another reaction video for you guys. So today I'm going to be reacting to the new death battle that came out, which is Ken versus Terry, which is Street Fighter versus either, like, is it, like, Fatal Fury or King of Fighters or something, or both? That, that's confusing. Um, but anyway, I'm sorry I didn't react to this earlier today, but, like, I literally did not have the time to do it until right now, for reasons I'm not going to get into right now. Um, but just, just, like, here it is, I'm sorry, I wish it was earlier, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so I am excited for this one. I know it is 2D animation, but I am still excited for it because Ken's in it. I do like Ken. I don't know all that much about him, like not much about his origin story or anything like that. Um, but I do like Ken. I do play him a lot, actually, in the Street Fighter games that I have. Um, and I know nothing about Terry, so I am rooting for Ken on this one. Um, but I don't, I can't really judge at this point. The only thing that, that might make me think that Terry might win is that he seems to be the main character of his series or like his games or whatever. And that might mean that he has, like, more feats, he might have better feats, he might have just more things going for him. Um, but then again, Ken is a lot like Ryu, who is the main character, so, you know, I don't really know. Um, but, you know what, let's just get right into it. Let's just, yeah, let's just get right into it and see what we got. Alright, come on. Okay, I'll just skip ahead until it works, because I don't want you guys waiting. Okay, I got it to work. I think. So 10, 10, 16, everything changes. So October 10th, 16, everything changes. Wait, what does that mean? Is that like the next death battle date? I don't know. Hey, Wiz, what is blonde I'm excited hair? to see what the next death battle like is, hell. too. Uh, today's fighters? Oh, you guessed it. Ken <laughs> Masters, the street fighting family man. And Terry yep. Bogart, the orphan turned king of fighters. He's oh, okay, so he's an orphan. Stick. Didn't know that. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out Ooh. who would win a death battle. Oh, that animation looks actually pretty good. As it looks the better than the um, Kami vs. Sony animation. Young Ken Masters wanted for nothing. Stupid rich kids, why don't their parents ever teach them any real value? Like squirrel cooking or how to throw a punch. Well, turns out Ken's an exception. Eager to oh, teach his son some okay. discipline, his father cool. sent him to Japan to train in martial arts. His birthday is and Valentine's out, Day. Dad was February buddies with 14. the master karate hermit Gokin, who Ken cool. trained under for a decade alongside a young alongside warrior Ryu. named Ryu. Yep. Under Gokin's eye, Ken was taught the ways of the Unsatsuken, or assassination. Oh yeah, the uh, the non-deadly non version. Variant. He yeah, yeah, the non-deadly version. Like the blast of key energy known as the Hadoken, and also the Tensu Monkey <laughs> He still it's can't pronounce Tumaki that. Sepukyaku. Also known as so the Hurricane. They're going over a lot of stuff with Ryu, but that makes sense. Opponents reeling, but it's also pretty good for getting past projectiles. I love doing but that in the, the game. But the move he excels at the most is the, the Dragon Fist. The Shoryuken. Yep. It's a devastating rising uppercut, and Ken's so damn good at it, he can set his whole damn fist on fire. <laughs> at his best, yep. he can perform the Shinryuken, or Divine Dragon Fist. Not only is this attack engulfed in flame, it also creates a Which I'm assuming effect, would hurt. Drawing opponents in for multiple strikes. The yep. Shinryuken that, is the cool most powerful natural form of the Shoryuken technique. Well, so long as you're not possessed by evil murder energy, but you should watch <laughs> yeah, Ryu yeah. versus Scorpion evil to learn all about that. With Mojado. his training complete, Ken returned to America, proving his new discipline and kickassery by winning several fighting tournaments, including oh, the good premier U.S. martial arts tournament, and that's where he won the finals and met his future so wife, Eliza. So he beat Cool. Ho, oh, ho, ho! That is certainly what I would call a win. Proud of his victories, Ken returned to Gokin's dojo to tell his former master the good news. Okay. But he got there a little oh. too late. Oh no, Akuma, Dang, why? All the finger <laughs> After meeting up with Ryu to mourn their master's apparent death, Ken decided to enter the prestigious World Warrior tournaments, just for the chance to fight Ryu again. But okay. Ken's always fighting, both in and out of tournaments. He digs on anything from crime lords to professional assassins. And he's strong enough to send okay, a man so flying 15 feet in the air with a single punch. The force of which would definitely kill yeah, an I'm average person, a lot of force. which Ken is anything but. He's strong enough to beat the dictator Bison with Ryu, and he's fast enough to oh. dodge attacks from a so Kuma, he's actually one of Bison the most with powerful help. characters in the Street Fighter universe. Then there cool. was his cage match against the claw-wielding Vega, where he punched him so hard he completely reversed the guy's momentum after he leaped from the ceiling. What? Doing so after losing tons of blood from dozens wow. of lacerations, That's and cool. with both of his feet broken and impaled. 
Considering much of a punch's force comes from the lower half of a person's body, this is practically unbelievable. Talk about endurance. I can see how he got his yeah, life. That's a lot of stamina. The guy is tough enough to fall over 100 feet into the mud and then just get up more feet? pissed than anything Falling else. Into anything in 100 but feet when it comes is... down wow. to it, Ken's strongest Impressive. asset is his conviction to win. Only made stronger when it comes to okay. his friends. Though he is pretty cocky, if he's feeling good about a fight, he'll sometimes just laugh at his opponents instead of finishing them off, leaving himself <laughs> wide open. Okay, Still, that could be a problem. if you enter the ring with Ken Masters, chances are you're gonna get burned. <laughs> Guys with fire, ha ha ha. Come on, let's turn up the heat. All right, now for Terry. I know nothing about Terry this guy. Terry Bogard was born with nothing to his name. Hell, he didn't even have a last name. Stranded well, with being his brother an orphan Andy. And all. Oh no. No, don't freeze on me now. Hey, come on. Okay, one second. Let me just see if I can um, get this up and running again. Let me just skip ahead. Bogard was born with nothing to his okay, name. so I backed up a bit. Didn't even have Sorry a about that, guys. Stranded with I hope that doesn't Andy, happen again. Terry grew up an orphan on the dangerous streets of South Town. Until they were adopted by Jeff Bogard, who immediately so that's introduced how he got them to a regiment of sense. bonding and kicking ass. Now that's a good dad. Well, until he got murdered. When he was oh man, why, years why, old, why do all, why does, why does everyone mas why does everyone's masters get murdered? murdered? It's like an ongoing thing now. East Howard, a notorious East Howard? Is that right? Swearing vengeance, the brothers spent the next decade training to one day take down geese. What did okay. Waterfowl will ever do to him? <laughs> geese. No, not not birds. Geese. Geese Howard, <laughs> bad guy. Look, Wiz, I know you're not a poultry scientist degree holder like myself. Oh yeah, he mentioned that in um, Doctor Doom vs Darth Vader. Is goose. It's just common sense. <laughs> Still uh, talking about let's geese. Let's just move like, on. As the years went by, Terry became an exceptional I like that. That's martial funny. artist, mastering boxing, karate, kung fu, and kickboxing. He developed. Oh, so he knows a lot of martial arts. Like the okay. Punch Ooh, surrounded by that's cool. And the crack shoot, a jumping axe kick. Or he can just punch the ground so freaking hard he makes a power wave, where he sends a deadly wave of energy through the earth towards whatever poor bastard he's fighting. But oh, even after wow, that's, all that, of that's these, really Terry cool, actually. Need more to defeat geese. Goose, no. <laughs> so he sought out his foster father's old master, who taught him the secret to Okay, so of his the master's master? Is that right? I don't know. Holy fist, huh? Is that like punching the Jesus into people or something? <laughs> no, but he is punching with the power of Earth. Fire, wind, water, heart. Oh. oh, Terry. Okay, sorry. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> what? Anyway, with Hakko okay. Forsaken, Terry can literally pull so the Earth? energy from the Earth beneath his feet. And oh, with the Earth's okay. G, he can enhance his attacks to extreme level. Like turning That's his ordinary cool. power wave probably into very the useful. monstrously titanic power geyser. Apart from that, his Buster Wolf punch puts his burn knuckle to shame. He has a and lot of star um, dunk volcano. He slams his foes down in a fiery explosion. So when Terry was ready to take Geese down, he figured what better way than in the worldwide tourney Geese himself was hosting, King of the Fighters. King of Fighters tournament. And in the end, he most certainly got his revenge in a battle which was apparently so, so intense him? its spectators compared it to a fight between starving wolves. <laughs> earning Terry the nickname, the legendary Hungry Wolf. That's a badass nickname. Although it turns out Terry didn't kill Geese hard enough, so he got to do it a second time. Not that <laughs> Terry was too weak or anything. Didn't kill him hard enough. Does that mean he, he died when he came he, he came back, or back, he just didn't? Whatever. Him, Don't think about it too much. Jumped up an elevator shaft as it was blowing up. Got blasted in the face with a wall of fire, which yeah, even says, him into killed Geese Howard wall, again. And answered by power geysering so hard he wrecked the factory he was standing on. <laughs> Whoa. He bled everywhere. But then this chick made him better with a good old stripping cuddle. Oh, and that guy jammed really? it, he's fast enough to catch bullets. Well, I'm sure it wasn't and exactly strong enough that, to shoot yeah. them back with his fingers. Whoa. Not good enough for you? Well, how about the time Terry saved a co-worker from six falling eye beams? By smashing them one by one in midair. Keep in Whoa. mind, a single I-beam is designed to support over yeah, those 3, are tough. pounds of pressure. And he took care of it so fast, the would-be victim didn't even notice. It's a bit oh my of a God. shame, then, that at his worst... Man, Terry's that's speed and power loser. right there. That's powerful. Even though powerful. his willpower is enough to match the power of Mars, the god of war, an unexpected Whoa. failure can still really shake him up. 
But when Terry okay. Bogart sets his mind to something, he Where's rather that bleed play out that than much walk of an effect away. Into the fight, though? Because it's just one fight. And if he loses, he's already dead. So I feel it's not that much of a weakness all right, the combatants in this are kind set. of fight. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, Wiz has got something to tell you about saving time and eating food. Okay, so, so there is an ad. Okay, so a... I'm just going to talk over this ad um, and you say who I think will win. So as much as I love Ken and as much as I want a Street Fighter person to win to because they need a win by meals, now, another one, I, also don't um, I think Terry's going to win this one. Uh, again, this is from the limited Thankfully, knowledge I know, but it's just because he seems to have more energy attacks, and those are the things that like are really powerful. So if you have more of them, and they see, and they even seem to be more powerful than Ken's, but I'm not sure if that's actually true. But still, though, that puts you at a really big advantage. Plus, as I said at the beginning, Terry it looks to be is the main character, and while Ken is a main character, Terry probably is going to have more feats, better feats. So I just think Terry has a good chance, a better chance than Ken does. In my opinion. And he can do that thing with like the bar and stuff, that's speed, that's strength. Not sure how it compares to Ken, but it still means that he's not really lacking in many areas. So I wouldn't be surprised if Ken wins because I don't really know. I'm still rooting for you, Ken. But Terry, I think you I think you got this. Oh, there's Dan. Ow. Oh, there's Blanca. And two other Street Fighter characters. I know the name of one of them. Um the girl. I just it's escaped me at the moment. Is that Terry? Yes, it is. Come on, show me what you're made of. All right, this makes sense. So they kind of, yeah, they kind of do have a reason for fighting. <laughs> and Dan's watching too. Here I go. All right, yeah, this animation is much more smooth. It's much better than the uh, Cammy vs. Sonya, in my opinion, anyway. All right, so Ken's, yeah, Ken's getting a good start on him. Oh, now he's angry. Oh, there's the uh, fire punch. Ooh, Hadouken. Oh, this is this is good. I like this. <laughs> They're going like left. They're going fast. And we just get what? Dan died. Oh. You okay there, Ken? Oh my god. Oh. Is it the raging... Does he have that? Oh no, it's just to show you Ken. I was wondering, does he have the raging demon? Oh, there's the Hadouken again. Oh, here we go. It's about to get real. Oh, that was cool. Which one wins out? Oh. Uh oh. What happened to Ken? Is he dead? Oh. Is he still going? Or maybe not. Ah! Yeah, okay, I figured. So, on the bright side, this means Eliza's single now, right? <laughs> Boomstick. You're saying we're Maybe, uh, um, maybe not for the same reasoning, Both though. Ken and Terry Let's have listen. been fighting since they were children, and each won their fair share of tournaments. However, Terry's sheer power proved too much for Ken to handle. Outside yeah. of tourneys, Ken's most notable victories were usually only possible because he had help. Sure, yeah, with Ryu. Down Zangi, Hugo, and Vega multiple times, who are extremely deadly in their own right, but they aren't nearly as heavy hitters as those on Terry's. Oh no! Come on. Okay, one second. This is interesting. Let me just um, let me uh, let me pause it again. Extremely deadly in their own right. Okay, but they I, I'm backed up again. Heavy hitters as those on Terry's resume, like Krauser and Mars. Also, yeah, they do seem more powerful. Jameen, who can effortlessly catch bullets, proves Terry can match someone over twice the speed of sound. Much faster than okay. anything Ken's ever shown. Man, Fair when enough. Eliza hears about this, she's gonna feel terrible. The winner <laughs> is Terry Bogard. Yeah, makes sense. Alright, who's next? next time I'm excited. Who's next?
Is it Sonic or is it... Is it Amy? Amy Rose. Hey guys, I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. I'm Ben. I play Wiz. Okay. And next time we've got Amy Rose versus... Uh, probably not who you think. You can find out who she's oh. fighting first by sticking to our probably Twitter. Probably not who you think. Attack. Speaking of first, you guys can watch can all I, of our death battles and videos yeah, that we okay. produce early by becoming a first member. So click the link in the description and start a 30-day free trial. Thanks, guys. Okay, so, um, not who you think. In that case, I don't know who Amy's fighting, because, like, the, uh, like, I can think of three people off the top of my head who Amy could be fighting. Um, I can think of Peach, but I doubt it's Peach, and she's already been used. And then the other two people I can think of are people that use hammers, which are, um, Nora from Ruby and Harley Quinn. But I'm not sure if, if either of them are really good fits for Amy. So, I don't know, and if they're saying it's not who you think it is, then. Who knows, you know? Um, they, they did recently use a Sonic character. They did use Shadow. Um, probably who whoever she's fighting, I'll probably be rooting for Amy because I like the Sonic characters. But if it's something like Harley Quinn then, or, or even Nora because I do watch Ruby, um, I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe I'll be rooting for them. I don't know. But anyway, I quite enjoyed this episode. Again, like the season three episodes, they've been okay. They haven't really stacked up to like the stuff that they've done in the past, in my opinion, because some of their fights have been shorter, um, including this one. This one felt a tiny bit short, um, but I still enjoyed it regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed this too. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you did, I always appreciate the likes. Comment down below what you thought, who you thought was going to win, if you agree with the outcome, everything like that. And if you could subscribe to my channel, that would make my day. That would honestly be so great. And I would love to have you watch my videos and, um, yeah, and check out all my awesome content. <laughs> Put that in quotes because probably not everyone thinks that. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all later.